Maria. The region bounded by the body, the space occupied by the body is called an area. If you take any object, and what is the space it's occupied? On the surface, on the ground, on a particular place. And that is called as area. So for example, we take the stroke and we place it on the board. And uh, what is the space occupied, the region occupied by this object? Let's draw it on the board. So we have drawn a picture that is which is in the shape of a rectangle. So it's occupied this space from here to here. This, let's name it as A, B, C, D. So this object is occupying some region, space. So that particular place or region or the region or place is called as area. So the area of an object, the virtual object. So if you take any other figures, for example, triangle, your region bounded by the region formed by the triangle, from here to here, all together, a region formed by the triangle is called an area. So what is the shaded figure? This is the region of the triangle we form. So with the boundaries of ABC, with the boundaries of ABC, so uh, we call it as area. If you see the square ABCD in that, the horizontal lines we have drawn. And so that space, the particular space is called as area. This object with the boundaries, with all the sides. And the signal view with the rectangle is all. So this is called an area. So let's find out the area. How will we find out the area for two dimensional figures that are Triangle, square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, and circle. For an irregular figures, to find out the area of it, we have learned in previous classes using the square units, like uh, using graph paper, or we found the area of an irregular objects. So this is this is for regular figures, that is, or triangle, the two dimension pictures which are uh, simple closed figures. So that is triangle, square, rectangle, parallelogram, and rhombus and circle. So let's start with the triangle. So area of triangle is nothing but half of the base of triangle is multiplied with the height of it. It's nothing but half of the base and height, the product of the base and height, half of the product of base and height of a triangle is called as area of triangle. So this is a base. So this is a base of triangle, but uh, we cannot take this one A B as a height. So we need to find out the perpendicular height of the object. Height we have defined in the previous classes. We take any object like triangle and we take the base of it it's a horizontal line which is a, which is a stable the figure is standing on which part we take it that as a base so BC as a base here BC is base this particular figure BC as a base and height it should be perpendicular line with a base the line which is making for 90 degrees with a base or horizontal line and that is called uh, height of a triangle, height of the object. So we don't have height of this triangle because this is not uh, making a perpendicular line with a base. So we need to make perpendicular line with this. So let's draw a perpendicular line to the base. That is nothing but opposite side. So perpendicular line. We draw to the opposite side, that is to the base. So it is making 90 degrees angle, perpendicular we call. 
So now let's name some name something AD. So AD we call height of triangle. So half into base into height. So half into BC into AD. So we find the half of the product of base and height. So we find it, then we can get area of a triangle. So let's go to the next one that is square, area of a square. So area of a square, the product of the sides, product of the side into side. It's nothing but the side, all the sides are equal, area uh, square. We multiply side and side, the same side. Side should be multiplied with the same side, A to A, side to side, A square. So, square units we call square units. So, this is also square units. All the area will find out in the square units only. So, just for a meter, because all the both the signs will take the uh, uh, Unix has the same thing on both the sides, that's the reason we we'll take it as the area of a square units, square units we take. So A into A, A square, because we take A and under the side, under the side, A into A, we multiply both. So we took one side and uh, as a part of it, one more side we have taken, and this, all the sides are equal. So one, one, two parts, A into A. So rows into columns, how we we'll find out the factors of. Uh, or uh, uh, the how many uh, things are there which are in rows and columns rows and columns wise you multiply the rows by column in that and we get number of items are in the uh, particular thing for example get 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2 here the rows are 3 and the columns are 2 so the things totally here 3 into 2 6 so 6 are uh, 6 things are present in this so similarly we multiply this uh, rows and columns in that way, in that manner. So A to A, A square, that is A of A square we call. Let's go to the next part, that is rectangle. So rectangle is the product of length and breadth. Product of length and breadth. A of rectangle. So square units, same as it is. Square units. So let's go to the next one. Base into height. We define the height previously. Should make perpendicular light. It should be perpendicular height only, which is making 90 degrees. Either this height or that height, we can take any one of them. So the perimeter, sorry, area of area of parallelogram is base into height. It's base. To height, so height is nothing but this. This is a one opening your height. What we have drawn with a green color line, so which is making 90 degrees with the base. So if you take the base as AD, and then height will be D, and uh, this is D F. If you take so DF is the height. So in this manner, we find out the parallelogram height of the path. Sorry, area of the parallelogram. Let's go to the next one, that is rhombus. Rhombus. So, let's find out the area of rhombus. And we know that, <coughs> we know that here uh, we get in two diagonals of a rhombus. So, opposite versus are joined together, we we'll get diagonals of rhombus, that is AC and BD, are two diagonals of a rhombus. They both are intersecting at 1.0. So this ABC is a rhombus and both are intersecting at O. And AD is diagonal we call. Sorry, AC is the diagonal one. It's D1, let's name it. And BD is another diagonal, D2. So two diagonals we go off, AC and BD are two diagonals, D1 and D2. So let's find out the area of rhombus. That is half of the product of diagonal 1 to diagonal 2. Half of the product of the diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 is called as area of rhombus. 
So if area is equal to half into d1 into d, d2, then short form we have it here. So let's go to the next one. Area of circle. Area of circle is pi into r square. That is pi times of the square root of the radius of the circle. So pi times of the square of the radius of the circle is uh, known as area of the circle. So a is equal to pi r square. Pi is nothing but 22 by 7. Previously we have discussed about pi. So pi is an irrational number and we will take it approximately equals to 22 by 7, 3.14. So to represent a number, the area of our perimeter of that particular figure, we are taking that as 3.14, approximate value of it. So radius is nothing but we have discussed. So from center to any point of the circle. So pi times, pi times of the square of the radius of the circle is nothing but area of a circle. So until now we have discussed about area of the objects, two dimensional objects that are triangle, square, rectangle, parallel and round person circle. So let's go to the next concept. Uh, let's use some of the examples to find out the area of the figures. So